Hi, this is Binkat and today we're going to make a simple graph using grays or XM grays. To start with, I took some beautiful graphs from this website. See how nice these graphs are? You can use this kinds of graph for your presentations or for your publications. So let's give this a go. So this is our sample data. Grace will read the first column as the x-axis and then the second column as the y-axis. So now we open Grace. Okay, then we import the file by going through data and then import and click this. We then locate our file. Okay, so this is our file. And since we only have uh, X and Y values, then this will do. But there are also other options here. You can have many sets of X and Y, or you can have a block data, and as well as many other options for the set type. But again, since we're just using or making a simple graph, then everything here is fine. And then we just click OK. Ta-da! So we have our graph now. Then our next job is to find or to write the title and also label the X and Y axis. So we go to plot and then click graph appearance. So here in graph appearance, we can write the title as well as a subtitle. So for title, I'll just write my sales, my sales, and then subtitle um, August. Okay. Apply and you'll see right away the title and the subtitle there. Uh, one thing to remember is that in order to change the font style, the font size, you have these options here. These are all for your graph appearance. You can also change the frames, legends, and etc. So now we're done with it, with this title thing. So we go to the labeling of the axis. We have that here. Again, we go to the plot and then go to the axis properties. As you can see here, the active axis is x-axis. And so we just uh, put the label here for our axis and then maybe... For this example, I label this as days. Days. And then everything here seems okay and i'll just click apply and there you go you have a label for the x-axis i will do the same for the y so i just change the x-axis here to y and then label put a label on the y-axis on the same area and i put um items here and that will be and then you apply Okay, so that is just how we do the labeling. Everything is on this menu plot. For the title, you use the graph appearance. And for the labeling of the x-axis, you have the axis properties. Now we want to change how our graph would look. So we go to the set appearance. You can click the set appearance here, or you can double click on this area. And the set appearance will show up. Okay. Uh, now I want to change how this part looks. So this kind of property is because of this area. As you can see, we have the type straight and also the style as this. So we can alter this and say, I'll choose this one and also its color. And then we'll be able to see the effect by clicking again the apply. Okay, and so we have that. Hmm. Say for example, I, I want to find the location of the data points and I can do that by changing the simple properties here. Instead of none here, I'll choose a circle. Okay. It's, it's too big, so I can go to a smaller size, maybe 30. Okay. And then I can change the properties of the symbol by going to this option here. Now here I can fill this uh, circle by clicking the symbol fill. So I can put the fill here and that's it. 
there you go. We have a simple graph using XM grays or gray. So we save this file as .agr so we can modify it in the future. This is the directory where we're going to save. And I just want to label this as August sales dot agr okay and that's it i close this one so now we have our graph here so there you go we have now a simple graph using xm grace see you on the next tutorials Taijian.